minutes or three quarters of an hour, whichever comes first. And we have a young lady down the back of the room. Her name is Celine. And I've been asked to get her up here on stage with me so we can do the unicorn song together. Is she coming? Oh, Celine, come on. I'll buy you a beer. Come on. Oh, so you sent your mom up instead? Hi, Cora. Just like the good old days, Shane. Long time no see. Uh, uh, Cora, the mother of Celine, uh, has been doing this song with me since she was like this height, since she was five years of age. So she's the expert. And what we hoped to do today was to pass on the baton to the younger generation. But she's not playing. So, no more beer. No more beer. Yeah, we're strict about you. That's it. You shut, yeah, you shut off. Why is my guitar not working, Jill? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a novice sound man. <laughs> I'm, I'm down close to taking back what I said about you. Do you notice I'm from Belfast? I didn't even flinch. Try that. Too used to that. <laughs> Nothing here, man. Anything now? Oh, there it is. Perfect. So, are you ready to try this, Cora? Uh, I think I remember. Sorry about the head injury. Uh, yes, uh, it's been a bad year, so you blood's coming through. I know. <laughs> uh, the unicorn song is about all the different animals Noah took into the ark with him. Green alligators and long necked geese, humpy back camels and chimpanzees, cats and rats and elephants. Sure as you're born, the loveliest of all was the unicorn. That's the easy part, singing the chorus. Tricky part, I need you all to act out the words. Do you want to come up and do this as well? Yeah? It's a lovely name. This is Magnolia. You know, we have your tree in our front yard. You can have it back when we're done with it. No. So here's the actions, ready? Green alligators, long neck geese, humpty back camels, chimpanzees, cats and rats and elephants. Sure as you're born, the loveliest of all was the unicorn, index finger only. Okay? So let's try it. Celine, don't eat the popcorn. I know how they make it yellow. Ready? Green alligators, long neck geese, humpy back camels, chimpanzees, cats and rats and elephants. Sure as you're born, the loveliest of all was the unicorn. Oh, this is that's just like the old days. It's like, like riding a bike. Okay. Are you ready, Magnolia? There were green alligators and long neck geese, some humpy back camels and some chimpanzees, some cats and rats and elephants. Sure as you're born, the loveliest of all was the unicorn. Excellent. Well, a long time ago, when the earth was green, there were more kinds of animals than you've ever seen. They ran around free while the earth was being born, and the loveliest of all was the unicorn. There were green alligators and long necked geese, some happy back camels and some chimpanzees. Some cats and rats and elephants, as sure as you're born, the loveliest of all was the unicorn. Well, the Lord saw some sinning, it gave him pain. He said, stand back, I'm gonna make it rain. Hey, brother Noah, I'll tell you what to do. Build me a floating zoo. And yeah, some of them green alligators and long neck geese. Some humpty back camels and some chimpanzees. Some cats and rats and elephants, sure as you're born, don't you forget my unicorn. Well, old Noah was there to answer the call. He finished up making the ark as the rain began to fall. He drove in the animals two by two, and he called out as they went through. Hey Lord, I got the green alligators and long neck geese, some hunting back camels and some chimpanzees. Some cats and rats and elephants, but Lord, I'm so forlorn, I just can't find no unicorn. Well, Noah looked out through the driving rain. The unicorns were hiding, playing silly games, kicking and splashing as the rain was pouring. 
Oh, that silly unicorn And there were green alligators And long-necked geese Some hunting back camels And some chimpanzees Some cats and rats and elephants Sure as you're born The loveliest of all was the unicorn Now the ark began to float They drifted with the tide The unicorns looked up from the rocks and they cried The rain came down and sort of floated them away Everybody, away! Magnolia, other way, away! That's why you won't see a unicorn to this very day Aww. Now this is the biggest part of the contest The men against the women We're gonna let the ladies go first Ladies, there were green alligators and long Cats and rats, sure as you the loveliest of all. Oh, that's going to be a hard one to beat, boys. Gentlemen, there were three alligators and long Yeah, the women won. Cats and rats and elephants, as sure as you're born, the loveliest of all was the unicorn. Well, you gotta work yourself in, don't you? I think they start off like with all the food. Usually not so right in the line. I'm gonna try my usual start off song. A song called Whiskey in the Jar. Hey! Hey yourself. Uh, hey, it's for horses. Uh, there's a part of the chorus where you have to clap your hands four times, twice, and then once. I'm not going to tell you where it is. I'm going to see if you can find it yourselves. This should be chaos. Remember four claps, two claps, one clap. Uh, we got a couple of seats right up front if you're looking for one. So there's a good one right there between two gorgeous chicks. Uh, you haven't been called chicks in a long time, have you? Uh, it was a compliment. In the, in the nicest possible way. Oh, there's a latecomer just sitting down right now. So I tell this lady about the lovely tradition for latecomers at my performances? Whoever comes in late after the first song has already been done has to go and buy a round of drinks for everyone in the tent. That really is a tradition, isn't it? I'm not just making this up, am I? You guys would perjure yourselves for a beer? Yeah. That was a stupid question. I'm not a traditionalist. You're, oh, you're not a traditionalist. You're going to break with tradition? Oh, you iconoclast, you. Anyway, four claps, two claps, one clap. My shirring, do ma do ra ma da Why follow the daddy-o? Why follow the daddy-o? This half of the audience, you haven't a clue what to do, have you? You guys, you pretty much got it. Mushering, dumb a doo, rum a da, clap, 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 four. Whack for the daddy o, clap, clap, two. Whack for the daddy o, there's whiskey in the jar. Four, two, one. Let's try it again. Mushering, dumb a doo, rum a da. Whack for the daddy o, whack for the daddy o, there's whiskey in the jar. That's close enough. As I was going over, the far famed Perry Mountains. I met Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. First produced my pistol, I then produced my rapier. Stand, stand and deliver. I am a bold saver, my sure ain't the madu ramadan. Whack all the daddy o, whack all the daddy o. Hold it. Some of you guys are actually saying clap, 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 and clap. You're supposed to actually physically clap your hands, not just yell at her. Sesame Street here. My shirt, the madu ramadan. Black ball, the daddy o. Black ball, the daddy o. The whiskey in the jar. I counted out his money and it made a pretty penny. Put it in my pocket, I brought it back to Jenny. She sighed and she swore she never would betray me. But the devil take the women, but it never can be easy, my sure ain't gonna do Ramadan. 
Watch follow the daddy on Watch follow the daddy on the whiskey in the jar I then went to my chamber for to take a slumber I drowned the golden jewels Sure it was no wonder Jenny drew the charges Filled them up with water And sent for Captain Farrell To be ready for the slaughter Assuring the little Ramadan Black fall the daddy oh Black fall the daddy oh There's whiskey in the jar If you could see the concentration in your faces <laughs> Now there's some take to the light in the hurley and the bowling, others take delight in the carriages are rolling. I take delight in the juice of the barley and courting pretty fair maids in the morning, bright and early, assuring the Madura Madame. Black fall the daddy o, black fall the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jug. You can't see it, but Magnolia is getting overconfident here. She's clapping with her eyes closed. <laughs> What? Ah, some take delight in the hurley and the bowling. Others take delight in the carriages are rolling. I take delight in the juice of the barley. And courting pretty fair mates in the morning, bright and early, for sure in the Madu Ramadan. Black fall the daddy o, black fall the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, you are in fine clapping today. I didn't say fine voice because your singing's not that great, but your clapping is what? Sit down, where do you think you were going? I'm getting a seat for my son. You're getting a seat for your son? Does he know you're here? No. In here! Right up front. Thank you. Why are you wearing a County Clare hurling shirt? Because I was in County Clare. Well, you were. That's a good answer. Who won? Uh, Claire, of course. No, they didn't. <laughs> it's been ages since they've won anything. Right. We're going to do a nice, happy Irish song about death right now. The song is called Finnegan's Wake. You know what a wake is, don't you? It's just, just like this. There are people that can never sit still for one minute. Yeah, just moving around, just like social hummingbirds. Now, is that seat okay? Are you comfortable now? Good man. Anyway, there's another clapping song too. When we come to the chorus, clap along in time to the music, then stop when I stop. Okay, that's all there is to it. Just when I stop, you stop. Ready? Don't panic, it's not as bad as it sounds. Some of you are panicking already. <laughs> to Finnegan lived in Watling Street, a gentleman Irish mighty odd. He had a rope both rich and sweet, to rise in the world he carried on. Till in a sort of a tippler's way, with a love for the liquor he was born. To help him on his work each day, he had to pay her every morn. But on the land of the sea, Rogers went to throw your charter tree. But in addition, by golden lots of fun that they get great. That's where you're supposed to stop. What I'm going to do to make sure you all stop at the same time, whoever keeps clapping after everybody else has stopped, has to go and buy a round of drinks for the section that they're in, this half or this half. It's not going to cost you as much as buying for the whole tent. One morning, Tim was rather full. His head felt heavy, which made him shake. Fell off a ladder and he broke his skull. And they carried him home as corpse to wake. They wrapped him up in a nice clean sheet. Laid him out upon the bed with a barrel of whiskey at his feet and a bucket of porter at his head. On the night of the whiskey, I'm the only one to throw your powder shake. Was it a ditch we played? Was it lots of fun that we could play? Damn, that was good. <laughs> Hope you realize you screwed up the whole song now. I don't have anybody to pick on to get a laugh at their expense. <laughs> The guests assembled at the wake when Mrs. Finnegan called for lunch. Oh, You're all supposed to shout lunch. The guests assembled at the wake when Mrs. Finnegan called for lunch. Oh, First she brought the tea and cake, pipes, tobacco, and brandy punch. Oh, and the widow all began to cry. Oh, Such a nice clean corpse did you ever see. 
Till the morning, why did I? I'll hear about Prime Molly McGee. What on the man of Asky Hart and Wealth to throw your father's grave? For the lifted shoes, I hold you lots of fun to play the play. Oh, oh, I heard a little golf clap over here. Oh, oh, oh. oh and she's denying it. That's it, that's compounding the offense. That's even worse. Okay, whoever keeps clapping this time after everybody stop has to set me up a drink. I'm having a pitcher of Hennessy's brandy. <laughs> then Molly Mall takes up the job. Bob Davies said she, you're wrong, I'm sure. Then he fetched her bells and the god that left her sprawling on the floor. Civil war to then engage. Woman to woman and man to man. So lady loves on the rage and her own interruption soon began. Tap on the man of Asky Hart and Rick the floor, your daughter's shape. Was it a ditch to play? Was it a of fun that made it play? Oh! <laughs> We have witnesses. You all heard that. A picture of Hennessy's brandy. Get some Macallan while you're at it. Oh. Oh. Thank you. This is so unexpected. Oh. Look, a Scottish picture. Bless you. Let this be an example for the rest of you. Let me see if it's the real thing, though. Yep, you welded it closed, didn't you? <laughs> Get the little bottle over there. Doesn't everybody always carry a bottle? <laughs> I think it's the altitude that has the, the, the top welded onto it. Thank you. I suppose we better see if it works. Little Irish toasty wall. As you go through life, may you never sweat the petty things and always pet this. Never mind, wait. As you go through life, may the wind at your back always be your own. <laughs> Gentlemen, to our wives and sweethearts, may they never meet. Here's to you and here's to me, may we never disagree. But if we ever disagree, the hell with you, here's to me. Oh, that was good. Thank you, Carol Ann. Appreciate it very much. I'll split it with you later. The hell I will. Sad verse. Then Mickey Murphy ducked his head as a bottle of whiskey flew at him. Ooh, sound effects. It missed him landing on the bed, the liquor scattered over tin. And out in five, see how he rises. Ted Finnegan rising in the bed. Saying, Where are your whiskey? You're out like days of the hunter in case of the end. I'm dead. Oh, I know that you have to go out the floor, your daughter's straight. But if it's too fight, oh, you're lots of fun that they can drink. Whack for the dad, I was just here, I can go out the floor, your daughter's straight. But if it's too fight, oh, you're lots of fun that they can drink. Well done! Oh, you guys are good. As we say at home, you're slicker than beer guts on a doorknob. <laughs> but uh, you couldn't make that stuff up. I was just thinking of the gentleman sitting at, at the end of the aisle here with the bib overalls and the hat and all. And great to see you, sir. I had a song for you. Where, oh, where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and I thought I'd found true love. You met another and you was gone. <laughs> oh yes, the good old days of American entertainment. I don't write them like that anymore. Uh, being as I come from Belfast, there's a very common song from Belfast that's sung at every Irish pub and every festival here in the U.S. And I'm going to do, uh, there's, there's two versions. There's the common one that everybody sings in the bars and the pubs, and then there's a really nice traditional ballad version which only I sing. Which one would you like? <laughs> God bless you sir, good answer. That's the one I'm going to do for you right now. The song is called The Black Velvet Band. I take back what I said about County Clare people. <laughs> well, most of it. <laughs> One day as I went for a ramble Alone by myself 
hide its trade When I met with a gay young deceiver She was walking along the byway Her eyes were as dark as the raven I thought her the pride of the land And her hair it hung over her shoulders Twas tied with a black velvet band She told me in port as we anchored That I was her true love and joy And twas then she proposed at our meeting that I should be her own boy Her eyes were as dark as the raven I thought her the pride of the land And her hair it hung over her shoulders it was tied with a black velvet band I escorted her back to her lodgings we talked as we walked hand in hand But a gold watch she slipped in my pocket Bad cess to that black velvet band Wanna try it with me? Her eyes were as dark as the ravens Obviously not I thought her the pride of the land And her hair it hung over her shoulders was tied with a black velvet band. Next day I was hunted and captured. Alone in the dock I did stand. I was charged with robbing and stealing. All for loving that black velvet band. On your own. Her eyes were as dark as Lovely. Was tied with a black velvet band. Farewell to my friends and relations. I'm bound for Van Diemen's land, far away from my faithful companions. Betrayed by a black velvet band. Last time, her eyes were as dark as the raven. I thought her the pride of the land And her hair it hung over her shoulders Was tied with a black velvet band What are singing? They're singing like birds today Vultures, but they're singing And well, that's all the points uh, I'm going to do the pub bird Get back. Sit down. What is it with guys sitting in your row that want to get up and take off? I drink too much. Small waters. Close to the truth, I would imagine. Well, maybe he's gone to get the beer he owes me. Uh, I'm going to do the pub version. It's been somebody requested out there, so we'll do the other Black Velvet Band for you. And this is a nice one. And it's in waltz time as well. So if anybody feels like getting up and doing a little waltz, the old three, four, three quarter time. Just make sure you don't slip on the grass. <laughs> so, oh, lost another one. Two. I'm going to walk out in the middle of your show. My show. <laughs> oh yeah, stop trying to suck up. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm having fun. This is more fun than looking raisins off fly paper, isn't it? And if you answered yes, how would you know? You must have a basis for comparison. But the other Matt held it down. In a neat little town they called Belfast, an apprentice to trade I was bound. And many an hour sweet happiness have I spent in that neat little town. Till sad misfortune came over me, which caused me to stray from the land Far away from my faithful companions To follow a black velvet band Here's the chorus 
Her eyes, they shone like diamonds. You swear she was queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band. You know, I notice a lot of you could use a little help for the chorus. I, I'm going to teach you how to act out the words to the chorus, so you can do the actions, and it'll help you to sing the words. Ready? So try the actions with me. Her eyes, they shone like diamonds. You'd swear she was queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up in a black velvet band. One more time, ready? Her eyes, they shone like diamonds. You'd swear she was queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet cloth. This is going to be great fun. <laughs> her eyes, they shone like diamonds. You swear she was queen of the land And her hair hung over her shoulder Tied up with a black velvet band As I was walking down Broadway Meaning not long for the stray Who should I meet but this pretty fair maid Came a-tripping along the byway She was both fair and handsome her neck it was just like a swan And her hair hung over her shoulders Tied up with a black velvet band Here we go! Her eyes they shone like diamonds You swear she was free of the light And her hair hung over her shoulders Tied up with was a-walking down Broadway, meaning not long for the stray. Who should I meet but this pretty fair maid, came a-tripping along the byway. I sang this verse already, didn't I? You know what? I like it. I'll do it twice. She was both fair and handsome, her neck it was just like a swan. And her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band. Just the ladies, her eyes, they shine like diamonds. <laughs> and her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band. Well, gents, that shouldn't be too easy to beat. <laughs> I nearly said too hard to beat, but. It's easy to beat in your case, right? <laughs> Before a judge and a jury For trial I had to appear The judge, he said to me Young man, the case against you is clear I'll give you ten years penal servitude To be spent far away from the land Far away from your faithful companions Betrayed by a black velvet band. Ready? Her eyes they shone like diamonds. Just a minute. Yes, where she was queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulder. That's enough, me. Black velvet band. <laughs> so come all you jolly young fellows, a warm and take by me. When you are out on the town, they lads, beware of them pretty callings. They'll feed you with whiskey and porter and pictures of Hennessy's brandy until you're not able to stand. And the very first thing you'll know is you've landed in Van Diemen's land. Okay, just this half of the audience. Her eyes and Any four people from this half of the audience? Her eyes, they showed like diamonds. You swear she was queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulder, tied up with a black velvet
Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça, mon petit chouchou? Cheers to you. Thank you very much. Do I have to give you some in return? Don Winnie? Well, that's much too good for the likes of me. I oh, you keep pick out the good stuff. Excuse me. Oh, I'm going to do this set. I'll do it the next half for you. Okay? Thank you. I do love that bell, Winnie. Have you ever had a good fine Irish whiskey? Uh, Let me get my cell phone out. The push will be Hello? Hello, Bruce? Is that you, the, the leprechaun, Bruce? Yes, it is, sir. Is that you, Elan? Are you fully charged? No, you're paid enough, so I just have to top it up a bit, I think. Okay, you two, you do yours and I do mine. I'll top it in and see what happens. Goodbye. Goodbye, talk to you later. <laughs> hey, Mr. Dalwini, here. Have a sip of that. My honor, sir. It certainly is. <laughs> Good stuff, huh? Thank you. Oh, I tell you, it makes, it makes living worthwhile, doesn't it? The one thing that the, uh, the Irish and the Scottish have in common. Uh, well, we, we both make wonderful whiskey. The Scotch, the, the Scots make really good Scotch whiskey, and the Irish make really good Irish whiskey. And never the twain shall meet, I hope. But we also have a, a common enemy, sobriety. <laughs> Oh, the English? Oh, go wash your mouth out with Dalwini after saying that word. We will not have that at a Scottish festival. Good God, buddy. Get a grip of yourself, man. Anyway, uh, where was I? I was rambling there, wasn't I? I went off on a tangent. Something about the Irish and the Scots. Something about the Irish and the Scots? Sobriety. Okay, I'll do a Scottish song. Do we have any Scottish people here? You know, it's really nice to have you people here at your own festival. You know, it's not nice for the Irish to take over. But, but we are fellow Celts. With a common language, believe it or not, Scots Gaelic and Irish Gaelic are almost identical languages, particularly uh, Highland Scottish from up in the Highlands is almost identical in spelling and pronunciation to Donegal Irish from the northwest of Ireland. Check it out! Come with me on one of my tours to Ireland or Scotland next year. I bring a couple of tours over every year, and these ladies are holding up the flyers. I've got a, uh, a tour going to Scotland in uh, July, and I've got a tour going to Ireland in April. So you can uh, come over and compare the languages, and compare the whiskies, and do some serious liver damage, and then get back here to the United States. And I've been doing these tours for like 33 years, and I haven't lost anybody yet. A couple of people I might have wanted to lose down through the years. I've had the same driver for about 30 odd years as well, Leslie Daunt. He's from County Cork in Ireland. Not only is he a marvelous driver, he could thread a needle with that coach, but he knows pretty much everybody in Ireland. The history of all the towns we're going through, the battles, the scenery, geology, knows it all. Uh, have any of you been to the Burren in County Clare? You must have, you're wearing a Clare jersey. Well, the Burren, it, it looks like a big rocky outcropping. It looks like a moonscape from the moon. Uh, it was caused by a receding glacier going out to sea, dropping big limestone boulders and then gouging out huge holes in the limestone surface of the Burren. There are plants that grow in the Burren that are only found in the Swiss Alps. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. Anyway, Leslie had just given his little spiel to the folks on the bus before we get off. Now, one American gentleman had not been paying attention. and He wasn't from Colorado. His name was Jim Smith, and he was from Buffalo, New York. <laughs> so he came up to Leslie, and he said, where, where did all these boulders come from? Uh, Leslie said, the glacier left it. Oh yeah, where did the glacier go? It went back to get more boulders. <laughs> we were traveling through County Kerry, an absolutely beautiful county in Ireland, and we were reading the local newspaper, The Kerry Man, and we saw a report. They were tearing down an old barn, and while they were doing so, 
they found the mummified remains of a man. They had no idea who he was. They had to find out. So they went and they checked out all the uh, the death records going back 50 odd years, and the church the church records for funerals and burials didn't find anything. Finally, they did DNA, and it turns out it was the 1958 All Ireland Hide and Go Seek champion. <laughs> And we were in one of our favorite villages in County Cork, it's called Kinsale, and my friend Debbie over here, her daughter, lives in Kinsale right at the moment, but you get to go back, don't you? But it's the foodie capital of Ireland. People come from all over Europe to try out the fresh seafood in Kinsale. And while we were there, we found out that a fad that was popular here in the 1970s has resurfaced in Ireland. Streaking. <laughs> They're all doing it. Now, there's a couple of old spinster sisters in Kinsale. The Flanagan sisters. Oh, sorry. Uh, we don't call them spinsters anymore. They're nature's unclaimed treasures. <laughs> and the Flanagan sisters decided to give this streaking business a go. So they got up the end of the main street. They removed their garments and they hid them under a bush and started to run down the street as fast as their legs would allow them. Well, Murphy and O'Brien were sitting outside at Jimmy Edwards' seafood restaurant and pub. And they were sitting on a couple of empty Guinness kegs, holding a pint each, watching this spectacle unfold. And Murphy said, did you see what I just saw? O'Brien said, I did. Was that the Flanagan sisters? It was. What were they wearing? I don't know, but whatever it was, it needed ironing. <laughs> so uh, come over to Ireland, you'll find that uh, these stories are all true. Not making them up. I'm going to try a different instrument right here while I'm at it. Guitar stand. Well, it doesn't matter, I don't hear it anyway. Stay. <laughs> Stick is a pretty good over there. Yeah, that'll do it. Now, this is making goat skin. Hey, Tommy, try your waistband. Go to the other side. Thank you, Bruce. That's a pleasure. You have the eyes of a traveling rat. Thank you. <laughs> Tommy, you're absolutely right. Anyway, it's made from goat skin and it can get really dry, particularly in this heat and at this altitude. So you gotta wet it so it doesn't have this really tight ping, so it doesn't sound like they're playing a, a saucepan. And so a lot of people say, oh, you should you should soak your bar on with beer or Guinness. No, never. Yeah, there are way too good beer and Guinness would do that. You just throw water in there, and it, oh, it's a bit more. Bet you didn't know there was more than one use for water, did you? I'll try this use. <coughs> Because of elevation? This elevation? <laughs> anyway, for those of you who have never seen one of these before, this is one. And it's a very old traditional Irish instrument called Kavaron. And Kavaron, believe it or not, is Gaelic for deafener. Something that will get you. Particularly if you hold it up near your own ear while you're playing it. The stick is known as a tipper or a beater. You hold it like a pencil. You shake it like an old style thermometer. Or as my son said, Dad, that's like shaking a ball of snot off your fingertip. The Irish used to play the bar of marching into battle. In the front line would be 20 or 30 of these things battering away, just like this. Bring it up the rear, there'd be 30 or 40 bagpipes droning in the background. It's no wonder the Irish never won a battle. 
all the other sides had guns. <laughs> there's our boys out in the front line marching to certain death. There she was, just a walking down the street, singing. I didn't know you knew those old Irish war songs. I'm impressed. You know what I would look like if I died, went to heaven, and became a saint? <laughs> and people don't know it, but anything you can do on a full set of drums, they can do on a bar run. For instance, a drum roll. <laughs> no such thing as a cheap laugh, they're all good. And the cheaper the better, I say. Well, here I am amongst you, and we're here because we're here. And I'm only 12 months older than I was this time last year. I uh, with me tour, I uh, with me tour, I uh, right along with me tour, I uh, with me tour, I uh, The more a man has, the more a man wants. The same I don't think true. I never met a man with one black eye that wished that he had two right uh, with me to right uh, with me to right uh, right uh, right along with me to right uh, with me to right uh, right uh. Never throw a brick to a drowning man if you're close to a grocery store Throw him a bar of Irish spring, let him wash himself ashore I uh, with me to right uh, with me to right uh, right uh. Ride along with me tour, I have with me tour, I were I a Ride along with me tour, I have with me tour, I were I a Scotland the Brave. Okay, but just this once, because Scottish people here will get spoiled and they'll request it every time. The song is originally uh, an Irish melody, it was called The Irishman's Toast, and then a wonderful Scottish piper set it to uh, the bagpipes and uh, it became Scotland the Brave. And in 1951, a man called Cliff Hanley, who was a Glasgow vaudeville entertainer, musical entertainer. Cliff Henley wrote the words as we know them today for Scotland the Great. And Cliff Henley's parents both came from County Donegal. So it's a, a Scottish and Irish song, if you will. I'd like to claim wherever possible. Now, if you feel like getting up and marching out and attacking an English person during this song, that's what it was designed to do. So. But don't be serious about it, don't really work up. I think that's, that's, I'm off, legally I'm off the hook now. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, Magnolia. No yawning at my shows. <laughs> so in all fairness, I woke these girls up today by playing Scotland the Brave. You, you, woke these two, you woke these two women up by playing Scotland the Brave this morning? Yeah, absolutely. Yawn all you want, love. Go ahead, yawn away. <laughs> But there's no crying in baseball, all right? <laughs> oh, heart, well, the night is falling here, here, the heights are calling, loudly and proudly calling down through the glen. There, where the hills are sleeping, now feel the blood leaping, high as the spirit of the old island man. Towering in gallant fame, Scotland, my mountain hate, I may your proud standards gloriously wave. Land of no, my endeavor, land of no, the shining river, land of no, my heart forever, Scotland the brave. Oh, I in the misty highlands, out by the purple islands, brave are the hearts that beat beneath Scottish skies. Wild are the winds that meet you, staunch are the friends that greet you, kind as the light that shines in fair maiden's eyes. Towering in gallant fame, Scotland my mountain hay, I may your proud standards gloriously wave. 
Land of oh, my endeavor, land of oh, the shining river, land of oh, my heart forever, Scotland the brave. Oh, far off in sunlit places, sad are the Scottish faces, yearning to feel the kiss of sweet Scottish rain. Where tropic skies are beaming, love sets the heart a-dreaming, dreaming and longing for the homeland again. Towering in gallant faith, Scotland my mountain hay, I lay your proud standards gloriously wave. Land all oh, my endeavor, land all oh, the shining river, land all oh, the lousy weather, Scotland the brave. Land two o'clock. We're going to have a little break now for the opening ceremonies, but right after that, please come back here. We've got a wonderful entertainer with us all the way from New Zealand, Steve McDonald here, for some of his beautiful Scottish song styles, all the way from New Zealand.